today I'm going to answer some questions about the Oregon Trail card game. So there's a calamity card that says inadequate grass, which reads, if two inadequate grass cards are face up, then two oxen die. One round of play without an oxen card and everyone in your party is dead. So when you have that calamity card that is turned over in front of you or another player, it actually doesn't have an effect until the second one comes into play. So the question is asked, do you take care of it with an oxen when you have one or do you, what do you do? And you know, that is a personal choice that you can decide. There are only two inadequate grass cards in the game. So it may come up quickly. It may not come up at all. You just don't know. The other thing is there are only three oxen supply cards. So they're kind of a little bit rare and they are required for other things. So for me, as a personal choice, I would wait until after you have the second one come up and just plan for so that someone is prepared to take care of it. And then once again, you have every player has a turn. And so that consists of your round. And then if nobody is able to provide the oxen, then your party is dead. The other questions come up if you wait until the other inadequate grass card comes up. Does your oxen card cover just the one card or does it cover both of the calamity cards? And the truth of the matter is one oxen basically makes the one null. And so it doesn't matter whether it it applies to one or both because usually a supply card only covers one calamity card, but it doesn't make any difference because you can leave the other one on the table and it it doesn't have any effect. There's not going to be anything else come into play. So it doesn't really matter. I have other videos with other questions about the Oregon Trail card game that you can feel free to watch. And also I have a video on different adaptations that you can add to this game to change the level and change the how you play it.